Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can set up the PlayStation Remote Play so you can play your PlayStation from a Windows device. Now this is handy if somebody else wants to use the main TV and you want to carry on playing your game or if you're away from home. So with Remote Play what it allows you to do is it allows you to play whatever you've got on your PlayStation 4 on a Windows based computer so either a laptop or a PC also works for Macs as well now what you have to do is you have to change a few settings on here and then you have to actually download the remote play onto your desktop or your laptop and then you need to either use you need to have a, a DS4 a DualShock 4 controller version 1 or 2 and uh, a USB to micro USB cable so these are the common cables this is your charging cable or most Android phones use these cables as well. If you don't want to be using it via a cable, then what you can do is you can buy yourself the DualShock 4 USB wireless adapter, and I'll quickly show you how to use that in the video as well. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to change the settings on the actual PlayStation 4 itself. This is a PlayStation 4 Slim. So what you have to do is you have to go up to your settings there, press X and first things first we need to make this PlayStation the primary console so if you go to where it says PlayStation Network Account Management and press X and if you go down to activate as your primary PS4 press X now I've already activated mine so it will say this PS4 is activated as your primary PS4 but if you haven't already done so you need to activate it then what you have to do is press the circle, circle again and we're going to go down to remote play connection settings that one there and you're going to press X and if you have a look up here it says enable remote play so you just have to press X again and then the PS4 is now enabled for remote play so then you need to come down to your laptop or your desktop. I'm just doing it, I've, I've got it set up in my home on my actual desktop and I'm using a wired connection and it works really well. On this laptop, I haven't used this before, it's gonna be using a Wi-Fi connection. Now a Wi-Fi connection is not gonna work as well as a wired connection. So if possible, connect your PS4 to your router or your router if you're in the States with a wired cable, an ethernet cable and also connect the laptop or the desktop you're working on via an ethernet wired cable as well. But what you're gonna to have to do is go to Google and just type in Windows PlayStation Remote Play and then hopefully it will bring up this top one here. And if you were just to click on that, then what we wanna do is we wanna download because this is a Windows based laptop. Obviously you can do it for Mac as well, but we wanna download the Windows Remote Play. Now if you're unsure if your laptop or your desktop has got enough power to do this. Just have a little read what it says here. It says what you need. So you need a computer, a PS4 system, a DualShock 4 wireless controller, a USB cable or the adapter, and uh, obviously a, a, a Sony account as well. And if you go down, it will say here, system requirements, and it tells you what you need, what your PC needs to have, or what your Mac needs to have. So you can have a look down there just to double check that it's going to work okay. Right, so let's download this. Right, so I'm going to click on Windows PC. And it says here, what do you want to do with Remote Play Installer? So I want to save it. Now this is just going to take a while so I'm going to fast forward through the video to save you sitting here watching it. Right okay so it says remote play installer finish downloading so now I'm going to click run. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? I'm going to click yes. Right now if you have a look the remote play icon is flashing down here so just click on that icon left click and it says here please select a language so I'm going to do English 
and now it's preparing to install. Welcome to the PS4 Remote Play Setup Wizard. Next, you've got to accept the terms and the license agreement. So have a little read there if it interests you. Click next. And then it's asking you where you want to install it. So again, I'm going to do it where it suggests it to go. So I'm just going to click next. And then click install to begin the installation. Completing the PS4 Remote Play with Setup Wizard. Finish. Right, okay, so if you minimise that and have a look up here, I've now got a new icon that says PS4 Remote Play. So we're going to click now on the new icon up here. That was just checking for updates. And it says here, use this PC to enjoy your PS4 even when you're away from it. Connect a DualShock 4 wireless controller using a USB cable or the wireless adapter. So to begin with, I'm just going to use the USB cable because it's the easiest way. Now, now before doing that, a lot of people are disappointed with remote play because they think that the graphics are really bad. If you go to settings here, and if you have a look here, automatically the default resolution is 540, which is not even HD. So if you click on that one and just try high. Now you can't put it to 1080 because 1080 it says here is only available for the CUH7000 series. That's basically the PS4 Pro. So you know the latest one that's out. Now obviously if you have a PS4 Pro, go ahead and click on the 1080 one. But unfortunately I've just got the PS4 Slim. So I'm going to have to knock it down to high which is 720p, which is still HD, but it's not full HD. Okay, and then you've got frame rate standard or high. I'm just going to leave that as standard just to begin with, and you can go back and you ch can change the frame rate to high once you're happy that it's working fine. Now, obviously, if you're doing it at 720 and it's all jittery and it's not working properly, then knock it down to one of the lower ones, like 540. I know my connection is quite good, so I'm hoping it will be able to do the 720 even on Wi-Fi. So I'm going to click OK. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my USB cable. So all we're going to do is plug the this side here into a spare port on the laptop. Like so. And then I'm going to plug in the other side into here, the micro USB side, into the top of the controller. Now, it is handy if you're doing this to have a, a longer lead. Obviously, if you're playing it on your laptop, it's probably going to be on your lap. But if you're playing it on a desktop, then it's nice to have a little bit of movement. Now, it says here, Press the option buttons to start or you can click start. So I can either click with my mouse here or I can use options on the controller. And now what we'll do is it will try to connect to my PS4. Now what you have to do is you have to put in your sign-in ID and your password. So I'm just going to do that now. Right, then you click sign-in. And it says it may take a few minutes to find the PS4. When the connection to the PS4 is about to be a loss, this icon is displayed. But hopefully that won't happen if you've got a good internet connection. Right, there we go. Now it's connected. So what we're going to do is make the screen nice and big. And I'm also going to put it to full screen as well by clicking the arrows down here. And now it's taken up the whole screen. And you can move around exactly the same as it is doing on the main PS4 up here. Okay. 
and the sound and everything will come through here. So if I mute the TV, right, if I put the TV on mute, it's automatically put the sound through the headphone jack on here because it assumes because I've connected the controller that I want the headphone jack connected. But in this instance, I don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this smaller. And if you go down to your speaker, here you see it will say headphone, earphone, USB 100%. So what I want to do is I want to change that to... I want to change that back to the speakers. It's default. I'm going to press OK. And now the sound should be coming through. There you go. The sound is now coming through the actual laptop itself. So automatically, by default, it puts it through to controller when it, when it connects it. So you're going to have to change it to the laptop if you want but you might well want the sound coming through the speaker, the headphone jack. All right, okay, so uh, yeah, that's it. Now you can just use it like you would do normally. And what I'm gonna do is while that's just loading up, I'm just gonna show you how the the wireless adapter works. So with the wireless adapter, I'm going to unplug this. You put it into a spare USB port. Like so. And then what you have to do is, you have to push the whole adapter in for around three seconds and then you'll see this, that blue, this blue blinking light here will change. So at the moment it's pulsing on and off. When you push it in, you'll see it will start to flash twice fast, and that means it's gone into pairing mode. So what we have to do is hold it in. One, two, three. And now you can see it's gone to, the mode's changed. It's like flashing blue twice and then going out. And then on the controller, what you're gonna have to do is you need to put this into pairing mode. So press and hold the share button, and then press and hold the PlayStation button, again for around three seconds and you'll see it will start to blink like that. Now that's in pairing mode and straight away it's connected and now I should be able to use the controller wirelessly. Okay so as you can see it's now loaded up. If you have a look up here the same screen is on the main PS4 as it is down here. Just make the screen big. Now when you're using remote play, you won't be able to use the, the PlayStation 4, so it's basically just one user at a time. And also, things like PlayStation Now, where they stream games, you can't use that via remote play. But what you can do is you can just download the PlayStation Now app onto your Windows computer, and then you can use it that way, but you won't be able to stream apps over to here from the, the PlayStation 4. It doesn't work via remote play. Let's see what happens now when I plug in the controller into the USB port of the PlayStation. Now I'm going to hit the PlayStation button. Okay. Now it says down here, the connection to the PS4 has been lost. So when you connect your controller back up to the main console again, it will kick you out of the remote play because you can only use one at a time. So I hope you found the video useful. Please give it a thumbs up if it's helped you out and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care. Bye now.